Folks, it's time for another chocolate review. Are we surprised? Absolutely not. If you're new here, my name is Kelly and here on Maverick Baking, we share easy recipe videos, we talk about chocolate, we share vlogs and other, lots of other food related things, as well as a podcast every now and then when I remember. And that's about it. If you want to stick around, feel free to. It would be lovely to see you again. But today we are talking about chocolate. Chocolate we've never even seen before, let alone never tasted. We're talking about this Nesquik chocolate bar. Nesquik to me has always been a drink, most commonly the kind of chocolate one, but also the banana and the strawberry ones are also even as baking ingredients. But today we are talking about this seemingly Spanish, or at least of a Spanish speaking country's Nesquik chocolate bar with a creamy filling. I picked this up in one of those like import shops that you come across in these big shopping centers every now and again. Um, it was only a couple of euros and I have no idea what to expect, to be honest. I don't know if there's going to be some biscuit in there too. It says there's 10 barrette, which means that I'm guessing it's not going to be like a solid chocolate bar. The kind of filling is going to be split equally between each thing here. We can expect milk chocolate with a milky filling, lots of sugar, lots of milk powder, lots of uh, vegetable oils because Nestle, and a little bit of vanilla flavouring just for the joy. It also expires this month, but that's on me. <laughs> but I was too curious not to pick this up and try it out. So let's see if it's worth a buy. Opening up out of this aggressively yellow wrapper, we have some silver Nestle foil. Let's see what we've got inside. Okay, so it is in bars, decidedly. And we can see from having kind of dropped this piece here that we have that creamy filling already visible there. So it's giving kind of Kinder vibes, you know, like those little individual Kinder bars, you know, with those layers of milk chocolate and that kind of suspicious white filling. It's definitely looking like Kinder, but smelling like Nestle. It smells like an Easter egg, do you know what I mean? Also very, very soft snap, expectedly so. But let's see how this tastes. Main comment to be made, sugar. <laughs> the main feeling the main flavor, the main thing that smacks you in the gob is sugar. Secondly, the filling doesn't actually have the consistency I was expecting. Like I said, I had those like kiddies kinder bars in mind, the one that have the kind of creamy filling, but they're much more solid compared to these. This is almost more like the texture of like Oreo cream, if that makes sense. It's not perfectly smooth and it's not that kind of semi-solid nature of the inside of a kinder bar either. Equally, it doesn't have much flavor other than sugar with a little bit of very fake tasting vanilla. As with almost all Nestle chocolate, the chocolate itself tastes of nothing. It's smooth and it's creamy, thanks to the vegetable oil. Super, super, super sweet. The chocolate itself tastes like chocolate lollipop chocolate, like super cheap kids, chocolate football, chocolate Easter egg chocolate, the kind of milk chocolate that even in like relatively mild conditions like this melts as soon as you touch it, you can start to feel that kind of oiliness on your fingers already. Is it unpleasant? No, because it tastes like sugar and vanilla and vegetable oil. It's quite difficult to go wrong there. <laughs> Is it something I would pick up again? No, it feels like an Aldi or a little knockoff of the kids Kinder bars with the creamy filling. It's not as tasty. The texture is much more cloying. It's even sweeter. And, you know, for something that, you know, has a flavor that is so clearly, or should be so clearly marketed to children, it's a huge bar. This is 100 grams. Who is this for? <laughs> now, I'm not suggesting that all adults need to have a sophisticated palate that only wants to eat 50% cocoa salt and above, but this just tastes like sugar. It doesn't even taste like chocolate. This is barely for people who even want chocolate. This is just... It's, it's absolutely the flavor of a chocolate that your mom would give you as a child to shut you up. You know what I mean? Tastes very novelty. And like I said, that's not unpleasant. It's not a bad thing, but I'm done. Even me, a, a fiend for all things sweet after two little pieces, I'm, I'm good. Um, and there's absolutely no aftertaste in the mouth whatsoever. <laughs> it's just sweet, sticky, and kind of hovering in the back of your tongue with that sugariness, but no flavor of chocolate and no lasting flavor of vanilla. Mm. Is it 
pretty much what I expected. Yeah, potentially even a little bit worse to be honest, because usually, you know, even things like Milky Bar, which are super, super cheap and super sweet, they're usually good or they have a distinctive flavor. This is just very, uh, it tastes like a bad version of something that already exists. Doesn't taste like Nesquik. It doesn't taste like the Nesquik uh, chocolate powder or anything specifically Nesquik whatsoever. I don't know why we have Broski Bunny on the front. I don't know what he's got to do with this. It's not terrible. It's certainly not great. Um, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, really. Uh, I think even kids would have sort of better taste than this given other options. So I would probably give this one an absolutely bland two out of five. If you guys have ever tried this bar, do let me know what you think. Am I being too harsh? Am I missing something here? Is this like a classic that I'm not getting or is this just a cash grab? I think I already know the answer. But I'm afraid that's all I have time for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you for the next one.